Hey guys, it's Paolo. So I just finished watching season two of Lifetime's hit series, Unreal. Now let me tell you, it is like one of my favorite shows on television right now. And today I get to talk to one of the stars from the show, Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, and I can't wait. See you on the studio. His life was changed and made new. Do you have your phone on silent? Oh yeah, pass Mike your phone. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Paolo. <laughs> I feel like I, I know you already, Jeffrey. We I just, really do. We just have this immediate connection. It's I, undeniable. It is undeniable. We're so, so excited to have you here. Thanks, like we Paolo. are. Thank and you. I have to tell you that Patrick and I, we are super, super fans of Unreal. Really? So like, oh, that's so exciting. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy Isn't to hear that. Isn't it better when you go to an interview and they just did their research, like, okay, so you're on this show called Unreal, but yeah. it's like, no, we're like hooked on it and we can't I'm wait so for season three. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I can't wait for season three. Oh my it's so God. funny. You know, it's funny. It's like that, uh, this part of it, um, you know, people uh, proclaiming so proudly that they're, that they're fans of the show yeah. is kind of new because yeah. it was a slow burn. The first season of the show. We, we binge really... watched season one, like last did. year. We like, w like watched twice and then we really? couldn't wait for season two. And now like, no. I wait for season three. I know. Like, oh my I gosh. feel the same way. Trust uh, me. I'm so excited to go back. We came to up with three words. Like, how can we describe what the show is about? Kind of. So we came up with it's shocking. Yes. It's addicting. Yes. And it's brutal. Yes. Um, what three words would you give to describe the show? Would you say? Ooh, I would say brutal, tactless, and real. <gasps> oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, oh, that's real. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real. Mm -hmm. you got the real in there. I, you got the real in there. You know, I can't even hear the word unreal just in like daily conversation. I agree. Yeah. In my mind when you got the there. script, I think it was in September of 2013 when you yeah. first got it. Yeah. Did you see all of these words, what we're saying? Did you see it into that script? Like, did you feel it was that already? Um, you know, I didn't necessarily see it in the in the script for the original pilot. Uh -huh. I certainly saw it in the short film sequ Sequin uh -huh. Rays, which Unreal is based on. So it's uh, it was written and directed by Sarah Gertrude Shapiro, yes. who's the co-creator co of Unreal. She was a, a field producer on The Bachelor for nine seasons. Yes, and she was. she wrote and directed this amazingly darkened, uh, you know, a gritty and brilliant short film called Sequin Rays which wow. was about 20 minutes long and was essentially uh, you know just a, the, like a, a, a spotlight on her personal demise it, yeah. was, it was the moment where she really yes. had her, her, her mental and emotional breakdown on the set of The Bachelor um, and just capturing that and you know how, was, how much a, a manipulating these contestants affected her mm. it was really so gutting and beautiful and I loved it so much because Sarah you said came from The Bachelor <laughs> did how real like or similar <laughs> is Unreal to the behind the scenes what happens on The Bachelor like you know I mean I I think that you know our show is is completely fictionalized. Yeah. It's um, it's a uh, hundred percent scripted, or I'd say like ninety nine percent scripted. Okay. And we we, and we have some, yeah we have some freedom to improv as well. But um, you know um, I think that the like the the genesis the 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 feeling of the show was what she experienced every day on set of the of mm. the Bachelor. But you know the overall energy of the environment of the Bachelor. I don't think it's nearly as dark. I think it's like it's really dependent upon what your role is on that show. Okay. If you're working as a field producer where you're constantly lying and manipulating yeah. these characters, of course your own personal, mm. you know, uh, well being is going to be compromised. But if yeah. you're a cameraman or if you're a it's, you know craft service person, it's got to be a lot a little lighter yeah. than, than what she experienced. And your character Jay, who's a producer on the show, yeah. um, I feel like in season two, like we really got to see him become more power hungry like yes. we get the, we got we, you became the new number two which was the yeah. new Rachel yeah and I heard were you surprised when you found out that you were gonna be the new number two yes I was it was um, uh, you know I, I, I knew that Jay's path was certainly he was certainly on the rise yeah we were seeing him kind of getting up there yeah but you know I mean honestly it came to a point through about midway through the season where I thought is he just going to um, you know uh, 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 climb his way out of this world of yeah. everlasting altogether I didn't realize that it was going to end up in him what do you Becoming what do you think his Quinn's ultimate goal is like for for Jay? Like, does he want to be Quinn? Like, what what does he want? Because I'm just hoping that he's not gonna sell his soul like in season three. Because everyone else is so yeah. evil, but in a good way that you just want to keep watching it. Yeah. But I'm like, oh my god, he's dealing with the conscious. He's so good. like you know yeah. he wants his girls to win, but yeah. Yeah. he's just doing it the right way. Yeah, for now. you know, I mean, I have different hopes for season three for Jay. I think that it would be. Um, 
you know, I think it would be very interesting to see him continue down this path of like yeah. really of you know maintaining the the position of being the moral compass and want, and really trying to uplift his contestants and protect everybody around yeah. him while trying to climb in the ranks. But I think there's something really interesting and fun about being dark and mm -hmm. being bad, you know. And when I get to see Sherry Appleby and Constant Zimmer do it every day on set, I it's mean, like I get a little envious sometimes. Yeah, like, to work with an amazing yeah, cast like powerhouse. you guys have some of the best lines on television, mm -hmm. and just seeing you all together when you're in that control That's booth so and it was just it's so so much fun. Keep B cam on Tiffany. I want plenty of snarky eye rolls and that I just smell the fart thing she does with her face. That. Yes. Perfect. That's perfect. You're back. Indeed. What do you got, Jay? I've got flowers. We've got dresses. I've got blinding diamond rings. Actually, I don't have a horse-drawn carriage because apparently the Clydesdales dinged the driveway last season. Locations but... was mad. Okay, whatever. Everything else is a romance explosion. Mm, that's great, but people want a shit show. Literally, if last week's ratings were any indication, none of this lovey-dovey boondoggle. Whatever happened to selling true love? Yeah, that's over. I want to see a bitch bleed. Can we talk about dreams? Because I know you're yes. a big. You, I mean, Let's I, get into I, it. I love the guests <laughs> who dream big. And yes. You have such a great story with the other co-creator mm -hmm. of your show. Marty can, yeah, can you yeah. share that? Can you share? Because I know that it, it's been a dream of yours to work with her. Yes. But where did you first like get to know her? Because this, I love this story. Um, I was uh, like ravenously obsessed with, with Buffy the Vampire Slayer yeah. when I was growing up. Loved it. It was just like, it, there was something about it that I was just so drawn to and I couldn't even necessarily explain why. Um, every episode that I would watch, I would just always see Marty Noxon's name on the credits under, and I saw her rise in the ranks as, as the yeah. years went by from, you know, writer to uh, supervising yeah, producer. Yeah, she started as a writer and then producer, she became, yeah. And then the showrunner eventually. And she and the name I was just always really drawn to. And, and to be totally honest, I always thought it was a man when I first saw mm. the name Marty Noxon. Mm. Um, but it was always something that I that I was very aware of, and I would always like point to the TV and say, "I'm going to work with you one day." And I don't know why her. I don't know why this is so Marty. I, love this. I know. I don't know why Marty over like. There's so many people out there, but for there's some so many people you, on that show. We're like, uh, uh this her. I want her. Yeah. I have to work with her someday. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love Joss Whedon and Jane Espenson and David Solomon and all the other producers and writers yeah. on that show, but it was always Marty specifically. Mm. So in September 2013, when the when the script came along. When I saw Marty Noxon's name, I just knew that I had to be a part I mean, of this you, project. You must somehow. have gone crazy because I, 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 I <clears> believe <throat> when you put it out into the universe and yeah. it's something you, re it has to be something you really want to do because yes. there's so many things like I want this, I want this, I want this, I want a big house, yeah, yeah, yeah. baloney. Yeah. Like you really have to have that drive inside, and because mm -hmm. you put it out into the universe, mm -hmm. and then years later, like you get the script it and it has yeah. her name on there. I'm like, I got the chills. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like in some ways, it was, um, it was very selfish. You know, it was one yeah. of those things that it's like that I, I do want for myself, and some people could look at it as a very superficial yeah. thing, but, but on the other side of things, I knew that Marty Noxon was somebody who was capable of um, telling stories that weren't uh, being told, Indeed. and that she was an ally, and she yeah. was an activist, and she was an amazing storyteller, and she was going to be, a, she was somebody who um, was willing to uh, try something different in the industry, yeah. and tell, you know, uh, give opportunities to people who don't necessarily get, uh, you know, to walk in this world yeah. as, as we do. Um, so. On that side of things, I knew that if I were one day able to work with Marty Noxon, that I could be of service somehow. Mm. So that was that was the biggest That's thing. So I mean, this is why I love him. I mean, <laughs> this is why I love him because and, I mean, you're 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 paying it forward because I think it was either last week, or the week before, you just honored. I think it was two yeah. from the LGB two students from the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. um, a scholarship that's under his name, yeah. which is crazy. And Another I actually I true. saw I saw it on social media how you presented it to them. Yeah. I mean, that's got to make you like it was just an incredible pay, day. paying it forward and. That's yeah. what we all should be doing. Yeah, you know, I mean, that wasn't just me though. I can't take uh, credit yeah. for that entirely. That came from uh, I, I speak with the human rights campaign mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the Brahmin Garcia Braun Studio here in Los Angeles. They're an acting studio mm -hmm. and casting director's office. They cast Masters of Sex and many other great shows. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they had seen my speech online. Uh, At H. Uh, with HRC, yeah, the Human yeah, Rights Campaign. Yeah, it was a good um, speech. Thank you. Very really good much. speech. Thank you, you should Google it right now. You can pause this and Google it because <laughs> I love how you started it too. We'll wait. Yeah, Just okay, pause okay. it, okay. watch okay. it, come back to <laughs> us. Okay. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, we can take a break now. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so good, yeah. Thanks, Paolo. Thank mm. you. Uh, so they had seen the speech and contacted me and said, We 
heard your story, we share your vision, and we want to help you on your path. So Gosh. they were the ones who started the Jeffrey Boyer Chapman Scholarship for that's LGBTQ Identifying Actors of Color. It's a really long, it's such a mouthful. But I know, that's but, yeah. he, <laughs> You can, can say, say it. Yeah, I can say he it. can say it. I ain't going to say the that. The Jeffrey yeah. Boyer Chapman Scholarship for LGBTQ Identifying Actors of Color. That's amazing. Yeah, um, thank you. I know you have a, a tattoo. Is it on your wrist? It says surrender. Yes. Right? You yes. know so much about me. When our guests walk in, I have wow. I do a full, it's like the Terminator, full body that's image. Amazing. And I see it. You have, and, and, and tell me about that. Why, why surrender and why on, on the wrist? Um, well, I got it when I was living in South Africa years mm. ago, and it's actually in my mother's handwriting. Mm. But it's, it's, you know, it's just it's a daily reminder. I can be so A-type and such a control freak, and I get really high-strung sometimes. Mm. And I just, like, it, I just have to remind myself to come back down and to let go and to go with the flow and to let whatever be will be because it's just life is just so much easier that way instead of like fighting against the so grain. So that's a reminder then. Daily. You know Oprah loves this word too because um, no. she always tell, uh, tells the story about her wanting the color purple role yes. and she always sings that song. I, I surrender. surrender. Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, okay. I just, <laughs> it okay. was the worst harmonizing ever no, by the way. So we'll just auto tune that. I stop after I surrender I know, and then I, I have to keep going. God, I um, love I, I remember that story. Yeah, I love that story yeah. when she was. Um, That's a powerful when she, word. Yeah, when she was on the the racetrack yeah, on at the, the treadmill, at the, at the, and then Steven Spielberg called camp, her right? saying, "Stop what you're doing." Yeah, if you lose a pound, yeah. you will lose yes. this role. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I got to give you something because I know season three is coming up. So we like we have to give you something so you can stay because we know it's really tempting on that show. So yeah. we, you need some good energy, good oh my gosh. power. So yesterday we we found this. It's a, it's a special oh, bracelet. Paolo, so, you're so read that out loud. What I, kind of bracelet this is? Can I do a shout out to Spellbound Sky? Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is from them too. I, I love it. Yeah. It's an amazing crystal shop in, uh, in Silver Lake, Silver Lake, Lake. Yeah. yeah, in Silver, Silver Lake, right? Los Angeles. Yeah, and it's yeah, incredible. Amazing. It's so this is what yours says. What does it say? A snowflake obsidian clears negative thoughts and replaces with optimism, blocks electromagnetic pollution. I love that. So this that. is, yeah, that's for you. Thank that. you, Jay's. Oh, you are so <laughs> sweet. Thank you so much. Jay's going to be wearing this daily. Trying yes. to, like, ward off yes. all those negative You stay energy. with them? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Thank uh, you, Paolo. That's so sweet Oh, my God, of you. please. So that's so something. incredible. It's yeah, beautiful. You're welcome. That, you really I, just pulled out of nowhere, yeah, didn't you? See, you think we're nothing, <laughs> but look at us. <laughs> we have gifts everywhere. I am so, so proud of you. It's an honor to have you here. Keep doing this Thank because, you. I mean, you're you're a bright star. Thank you really you. are. I'm so proud of you, too. I can honestly say that um, I remember the moment that Oprah surprised oh. you on uh, on the Oprah Winfrey show over 10 years ago. I was only it? 10 years old. Right, but it was like, it was it <laughs> yeah. was the wildest dream. The wildest episode. dream season, I yeah. say, it was, there was something about, I mean, I can say so mm. specifically, I go back to um, the moment that she surprised you and told you that, we, that you were going to be having a walk-on role on it Will and Grace. Grace. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Your... Uh, you, the, your reaction, the, your level of like sheer excitement and joy and passion in that moment mm. was so contagious and so beautiful. It's one of those those moments that I mm. go back to and try to um, uh, cultivate in my own life yeah. when uh, when trying to uh, manifest good things in my life. I feel mm. like in order to to receive good things, you have to expect good things. Yes. You have to you know be open and uh, uh, to to the abundance of life. And yes. in that moment, you were so just true. it was just an outpouring of joy and abundance <sighs> and gratitude, and it was so so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. you really inspired me, really oh, and truly. And look at where you've come. Look at where you've come. It's really, truly incredible. Well, that's, why I say, that's why I say, because I know how you feel, like dreaming big, and it's like yeah. you have to do the work. Yes. You know, and for you know, for me, people are like, oh, I want Oprah to come to my store. Oprah, to, you know, I'm like, it's not just about Oprah. It's like you know, putting in the work afterwards. Like yes. I could, it could have just have ended, and yes. I could have just stayed at the grocery store and just. Yeah. But it's just how can something. You be of service. Though? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yes. You're doing your thing. You're wow. doing it well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, if you haven't seen it, please, you have to. I'm telling you, Unreal. Season one, you can catch on Hulu, and then season two, you can catch on MyLifetime.com. Yes. Please do it. It's so. I, if you don't like it, you can, you can, you can tweet me. You can tweet me. Okay. But it's You'll so, like it. so, 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 so like good. It. It's I'm addicting. So it's so like addicting. It. Thank and you, Paolo. I can't so wait for season three. Okay. Me too. Me too. So get to work. What are you doing? Go. go. <laughs> He's out okay. Of bye. I'm out of here. Right, bye. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye, Paolo. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. You're Yay. so sweet. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Spoonful of follow. <laughs> I love you, Oprah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.